Hey guys, welcome to Crossing Void. This game's been out for a couple days. Yeah, I know. 2000 and late. So you've probably heard uh, about this game already, and you probably already made up your mind if you enjoy the game or not. But Drake, we all care about what you think. What do you think of the game? <laughs> well, you tell me. Very cool cutscene. Oh, wow. And they're doing a decent job of animating these like still images to make it anime-ish. Oh my god! <laughs> Damn, that was awesome! I think this game is a lot of fun. I think it's well made. I think it's got a lot of great features. But I will say, you'll get a lot more out of it if you know what the characters are. Like, I know a good chunk of these characters, but like, from somebody who doesn't know them all, or from like, looking at this from the outside in, if you don't know these characters... I mean, so you got a schoolgirl. A schoolgirl with a spear, a schoolgirl with a cool coat, an electric schoolgirl, a schoolgirl with spikes, a schoolgirl with a laptop and flowers on her head, a schoolgirl with a halo and a spike bat. But you got characters who aren't schoolgirls too. I'm just saying, if you don't know these characters, a good chunk of them are just schoolgirls. <laughs> so keep that in mind. But the gameplay is good. The game is good, okay? <laughs> I'm just saying. All right, so today we are going to do summons. So you got this Asuna one, which is like your actual character draw. You got this Kirito one, which is like a support. You got the good old fashioned summon, which is this vending machine. And I'll show you the animation here for a second. Got a little gotcha sticker on here. I see you gotcha sticker. And over here is your perfect 10 pull where you can do this over and over again. And for 10 bucks, you can get your perfect pool as long as you're patient. You know that thing that we got in King of Fighters All-Stars for free? <sighs> Stupid game. Nah, I'm just kidding. Now, you get an Asuna for free just for signing in for on the second day. So, this being the first banner isn't all that exciting. That being said, this is what I'm going to pull on anyway. So let's get this free one out of the way here. Here's the animation. That's freaking awesome. Oh, cool. This chick is not from an anime, but she's from a Sega game, I believe. Alright, so now we got that out of the way. Cool thing about this is uh, you can just, like, do as many coins in here as you want. Like, I just do all this. Nah, I probably can't afford it. <laughs> I can't afford that. Back up, I was just kidding. <laughs> So you can use up to your vouchers, right? And then once you keep adding, it will just pull from your, your like, in-game currency here, your premium currency. So let's see, what do we got? 1350? That's just, oh, too much, too much. Back it up, back it up, oh. There we go. So I can do 30. I can afford to do 30 between my tickets and my premium currencies. That's kind of cool, huh? I like that as a Gotcha summoning connoisseur. That's very convenient. Kick it, girl. Kick that vending machine. Oh. I oh, got an achievement. Cool. I got an epic. I got so many achievements. Get out of my face. This chick looks so different in the animation like her sprite animation. Like, she looks nothing like this. Hey, cool. I know she's pretty good. She's like a assist character. Cool, okay. Man, it's going by so fast. <laughs> okay. Oh, cool. I got a uh, hues. I got different... So in this game, you can get different colors for the character, which is super smart. They just take different, you know, player select characters in the fighting game and put it in here as different hues it can get. That is genius. So you can see what we got here. We got this dude with a gun. Guy with a gun. Asuna. So, uh, <laughs> so I already have an epic Asuna, which is probably why it wasn't the best idea to summon on this banner. But I just wanted to, okay? I just wanted the summons. I got awesome of every color. I got a green one. I got a blue one. Now I just need an epic one. 
Oh, cool. So this is Makoto, like the like kind of like the first main character that you get. So it's cool that I got a different hue for her. This guy just looks uh, like he just tear you up, son. Got a blue one of this girl. She seems maybe I should put her on my squad just because she looks cool. So you got another hue for this girl. Like, crazy chick that cuts down pillars. So here is my pull. Pretty cool. Didn't get anything, like, ridiculously rare, but... See, I don't know how rare these different hues are. That's a good question. I mean, they are purple, so I guess that's pretty rare. This guy has the best attack animations I have ever seen. So that's what she looks like normally. Now I got her, what is that, green? Colorblind alert. I think that's green. So now she's wearing green. That's pretty cool. Set this set it new skin. Anytime you get a new skin, you gotta use it. You gotta flex on them. So here's Makoto normally. After. Dang, that's way awesome. Okay, set, gotta set that. That's probably one of the coolest parts about the game, honestly. Alright, so here is some of my new cues and new characters. Uh, I know this guy in the back is only a rare, and I got some better characters than him. What do you guys think of Crossing Void? Is it the best game ever? The best graphics you've ever seen? Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. See, that's why I put him on the team. That's amazing. Well, I hope you guys had fun listening to my stupid opinion and watching me do some summoning in this game. I wish you luck on your summons. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We're trying to get to a thousand. We're pretty close. I'd really appreciate it. Oh, check this out. <laughs> Just in case you haven't seen it. It's freaking awesome. Thank you guys for watching yet again. I wish you luck on your summons. And you have a blessed day, y'all. As this game lags out because the servers are atrocious.